we're going to be looking at astronomical distances. The first distance is called the astronomical unit, and this represents the average distance Earth is from the Sun. So one astronomical unit is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. And this unit is mainly used when we're looking at distances within the solar system. The light year is the distance travelled by light in one year. It is not a unit of time. So distance travelled will equal the speed of light multiplied by the time it takes. So the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and the time is one year which is equal to that in seconds. So every times the speed and the time in seconds we get one light year is equal to 9.5 times 10 to the 15 meters. And we use this unit when we're looking at distances of stars from Earth. The unit, the parsec, is the distance of an object which has a parallax angle of one arc second. And parallax is the half angle an object's direction appears to change as the Earth moves from one extremity of its orbit to another, so over a six month period. So when Earth is at this position, it will see the star in this direction. And then as the Earth moves in its orbit, the direction in which it sees the star will change. And then after six months, the angle at which it sees the star will have changed by 2p, twice the parallax. And from the parallax, we can determine the distance of stars. So a star, if it has a parallax angle of one arc second, then the star will be one parsec distant from Earth. As this angle of one arc second is very small, the distance the star is from the sun is the, approximately the same distance as the star is from Earth. And 3,600 arc seconds make one degree. Then for a parallax angle of one arc second, will equal 1 divided by 3,600 in degrees. So looking at the diagram, the distance the star is from the sun, we have the angle P, which is equal to 1 arc second, and the opposite of the angle is equal to 1 astronomical unit the distance that the Earth is from the Sun. And this is our distance x. So we can use the tan term and say the tan of p is equal to the opposite, which is equal to 1 au, divided by the adjacent, which is distance x. So distance x equals 1 au divided by the tan of p. So if p equals 1 divided by 3600 degrees, then x will equal 1 parsec. So 1 parsec will equal the astronomical unit, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters divided by the tan of 1 divided by 3,600 degrees. And that gives us 
1 parsec is equal to 3.1 times 10 to the 16 meters. And the further away a star is from Earth, the smaller its parallax. And so the distance the star is from Earth in parsecs is equal to 1 divided by the parallax in arc seconds. So the symbol equation is d equals 1 divided by p. So p has to be in arc seconds, then d will be in parsecs. I'll now go through the proof of d equals 1 over p. It's not a proof you need to know, so it's for those who are interested. So we can use trigonometry and say the tan of P is equal to the opposite, which is one astronomical unit, divided by the adjacent, which is distance D. For very small angles, which are in radians, then angle P will approximately equal the tan of P. So we can say the parallax in radians is or will be approximately equal to one astronomical unit divided by distance d. The parallax in radians will equal the parallax in arc seconds. We divide it by 3600 to get the parallax into degrees. And then we multiply by pi divided by 180 to then get the degrees into radians. So the parallax in radians will equal 4.8 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the parallax in arc seconds. We also know from the previous slide that if the parallax equals 1 arc seconds, then distance d will equal 1 parsec. So the tan of 1 divided by 3600 degrees will equal 1 astronomical unit divided by 1 parsec. So 1 astronomical unit is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the minus 6 parsecs. So if we substitute both of these into this equation, so our parallax in radians equals this from this equation, and 1AU equals this that we've substituted into the equation, divided by D. So we can see that the 4.8 times 10 to the minus 6 is common on both sides, so it can cancel. So we're left with then that the parallax in arc seconds will approximately equal 1 parsec divided by the distance in parsec. So the parallax angle is approximately equal to 1 divided by the distance in parsecs, or d is equal to. 1 divided by p.